Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this quick video, I want to show you a new add-on that I've just made available on my Gumroad page for free. This add-on creates a node group that I'm calling a pick node, mainly because the name switch was already taken. This node lets you input a bunch of different options and then pick from them using an index. So let's jump right in. I've got an object here that has a new geometry node tree on it. I'm going to go to my edit menu and preferences and add-ons and I'm going to install my add-on. I'll go to the folder where the zip file is located and double click on it. Click the checkbox to enable it. Now let's create a couple of different geometry inputs. First we have the input of our node, which is this plane. Then we could do something, a cone, a cylinder, and an icosphere. I'd like to be able to have an integer input on my node group that I could select 0, 1, 2, or 3, and then choose one of these items. I could of course do this with a bunch of switch nodes, but that can get messy real quick, especially if you have a lot of options. And it's also kind of time consuming to wire it all up. So that's what this add-on is for. To run this script, I can either choose it from the add menu, or I can press shift A and then choose it from there. Once you add it, before you change anything, you'll want to press the F9 key. This is because the redo menu doesn't currently pop up in a node editor. It only pops up in the 3D viewport. I don't know if this will change in the future in Blender, but for now you can access it by pressing F9. From here, you can choose the number of cases you want, the starting index, and the type of your choices. This will take any type that the switch node takes. That's mainly because the pick node is generated using a bunch of switch nodes. I'm going to leave this on geometry. Now, I have this with three cases, but in addition to the three cases that you choose here, you're always also going to get a default entry at the end. So what I'll do is if the case is one, I'll do a cone. If it's two, I'll do the cylinder, three the icosphere, and then any other value, or my default, I'll use my incoming geometry. So now, if my switch is zero, I'm getting my default because the first case here is one. And you'll notice here that with geometry, you have a single value input. That's because you can't have a field of geometries yet. However, if you add a pick node and change its type to something that does support fields, like say an integer, it will use fields. Let's take a look at what this is actually generating so that you know what's going on under the hood. So what's happening is the initial switch value is going up to an equals node where its value is being compared to the initial case value that you set. If that's true, you get the true output and that's connected to the initial case here. If it's false, it goes down to the next one and it does that for however many you add. And then finally, at the end, if the last one, in this case six, is not equal to the switch, it outputs the default. Because this is generated with a script, there isn't really a limit on how many you can add. Just be careful that you don't go too crazy, or you might end up generating something like this. Although that does look pretty cool. So that's the pick node generator add-on. Like I said, you can pick it up at my Gumroad for free. I'll put a link in the description and you can check it out. If you find it useful and time saving and you want to add a tip to your checkout, you're more than welcome to. While you're at my Gumroad, check out some of the other downloads I've got. There's a lot of free stuff there and you might find some of it useful. Also, if you want to support this channel and more development like this, you can head over to my Patreon page. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. And I do want to give a shout out to my patrons you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for your support. Anyhow, I hope you like this, and I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. So until next time, I'll catch you later.